What's going on guys? So unless you've been living under a rock or you happen to be an Android user, you know that Apple has recently opened up their app store to accommodate a lot of different things. And a lot of it stemmed from what's been going on in the EU. And over here in North America, we've actually been able to benefit from some of those changes as well. And one of the major things that was recently brought in was this new Delta emulator. And so if you happen to be one of the people that have not heard of Delta, what's cool about this app is that it allows you to play games anywhere from NES up to Nintendo DS. And they're promising a bunch more in the future. You're probably thinking, what the heck is the big deal? Emulator have been around forever they're already on android and you're right i've been using emulators for like 23 or 4 years now i think the first time i ever used one was because my brother was hogging the game boy color i mean even in college somebody had figured out a way to run pokemon yellow on our blackberry curve so it's been a while so at the end of the day what's the big deal how did nintendo drop the ball i've honestly been wondering this ever since i got the nintendo switch where i was able to play all of the old school retro games that i loved and i started to wonder like if emulators are already a thing why is it that nintendo's never come out with their own retro emulator because they're always trying to shut down people who are promoting ROMs. They just had that falling out with whoever made the emulator for the Nintendo Switch. So it got me thinking, how cool would it be if Nintendo just came out with their own? Because yes, like I said, I could play those games on my Nintendo Switch or I could go grab an analog pocket. But at the end of the day, what's one thing that everybody has in their pocket on them at all times is their cell phone. And with how popular subscription services are right now, like take for example, Apple Arcade. In Canada, Apple Arcade is like $6.99 a month. And I've gone through that catalog many, many times. And there are very few games that I would ever wanna play. However, on the other hand, I know that if Nintendo came out with some kind of Nintendo retro arcade for that same price monthly, a lot of people would be more inclined to grab that subscription, even if they didn't play it all the time. I think a lot of people would grab that subscription so long as one, the games ran as intended, two, the app looked as beautiful as Delta does, and three, there was an extensive library of nostalgic games that anybody could play at any given time. Because as somebody who's already sunk a ton of hours into Pokemon Fire Red again, Harvest Moon 64, and Super Punch-Out using the Delta emulator, my biggest pet peeve is how tedious it is to save and continue where you left off. And I really feel like if Nintendo just came out and made their own licensed emulation product, it would be so much better than all these emulators that are out there. And it would be something that is consistent across Android and iPhone, and again, it would be something that you would have in your pocket at all times without having to worry about carrying another device. We could talk about it freely on social media without having to worry about your videos being banned. And at the end of the day, I think it would make Nintendo a ton of money. So for all the 12 people that might stumble upon this video, I'm genuinely curious to know what your thoughts are. Do you think it would make sense for Nintendo to make their own dedicated emulator that lets you play all of their retro games across any platform? And if so, how much would you be willing to pay for that? Either way, that's been it for me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.